Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 10th, okay? We all know the timing is fluid, right? Not everybody does, but some do. Um, so what do we have for around the 10th? Keep in mind, this reading may or may not be for you. Timing is fluid. This could happen in a few days, could happen on this day. Let's see what comes up. What do we have for around the 10th? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe, what do we have for around the 10th? Four of Wands, commitment. Four of Wands about commitment, happiness, love. It looks like we have a couple angels here. Uh, angels are protection, universal protection. There's some sort of universal protection here. This is extreme happiness. I mean, the Four of Wands is happiness. It's it's uh, really in a good place, right? I mean, the Four of Wands. That could be a celebration of some sort. There could be a celebration, an upcoming celebration, or a reunion even. Whatever it is, Four of Wands is about a foundation, a happy foundation, a happy soul, right? Very, very happy. Four of Pentacles reversed. Knight of Pentacles. Somebody's getting an offer. It could even be a proposal. Somebody may be getting a proposal. It won't be for everybody, but this is some sort of offer. It's a solid, stable opportunity. Four of Pentacles reversed is opening up. Somebody may be opening up to a commitment. You know, they've been stubborn. They've been hurt. They've been uh, focused more on their money. You know, focused more on uh, financial stability more than they were a commitment. This is somebody who may have been miserable. They may have been miserable. They may have been stubborn. Looks like they were. This is somebody that was um, not seeing an opportunity for happiness because they were too focused on their money by the looks of things. But now they're making some sort of offer. You know? They want happiness. Knight of Wands reversed. The magician, this is a yes answer. So the answer is yes. The chariot reversed. Two of wands reversed. King of wands and the fool. So fear has been a factor. <laughs> yes, it has fear. Somebody may have made a poor judgment call. In the past, they made a poor judgment call. Um, they may have acted impulsively. They may have uh, been very, very stubborn. Somebody's been very stubborn. They've acted impulsively. Now they're taking action absolutely with the magician and the king of wands. That is somebody that is given to take action. They, they are going to do something. Okay, this is somebody that is going to do something. They're going to do something about a commitment or about something that makes them very happy. They got this new desire, this new passion, this uh, sudden desire. It's very sudden. They, to, to create something. They want to create something. Um, it's very, very, very sudden. It's very sudden. So we have somebody that is taking action right now. Okay, they're taking action right now. They are moving very, very quickly Whatever they're doing, they're doing it fast. They got this burning desire to do it right now. Right, 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 right now. Okay, this is this is somebody that is uh, got this burning desire, okay, to do something. Because this is a doer. The magician is a yes, I got to do it. I'm willing to do whatever it takes. So we have somebody here that's willing to do whatever it takes. And somebody may also have manifested something. They have manifested an opportunity. Because this is a golden opportunity that has been manifested for happiness. This is extreme happiness, the Four of Wands. There's a lot of passion here. A lot of passion. So we have somebody here that gets some sort of vision. They get some sort of desire to do something about their happiness. And there's really no stopping them. 
Um, so I feel like this has been planned, though. I think that they they've been planning something. Now it's time to definitely put that plan in action. The chariot reversed is all over the place, though. So that's interesting. That's unable to uh, control. That's out of control. Um, unable to master emotions. Um, lack of discipline. Maybe somebody can't stop themselves, you know. Uh, this could be a sudden arrival, a sudden departure. There's been some sort of indecision, but I don't think there is anymore. I feel like this is a decision that is being made uh, very, very quickly. Um, this is as above, so below. Somebody has asked for something. They have asked for something. And here it's like meditating. This person is meditating and they may, so it feels like a wish is being granted. It does, and I don't need the star card to say that or to whatever. I feel like a wish is being granted. There's going to be something to celebrate here. Celebrating happiness or a new opportunity that has manifested. Um, definitely, it's a golden opportunity. Um, all of a sudden. There's somebody has been letting fear. These are both cards of fear. They've been letting fear get in the way and stubbornness, a lot of stubborn and miserable. They've been miserable. Somebody's lacked confidence. They've lacked, they've lacked confidence. Okay. They've lacked, they've, they haven't had any faith. They may have acted recklessly in the past, which has caused their fear. You know, so they buried themselves in their work or their money or their job. But it feels like there's been some sort of, now they got this burning desire, right? To take action. Okay? So somebody's going to be taking action. They have a new golden opportunity. This is something that they asked for. It's something that they want. It's a very masculine energy. This is somebody that is taking the power. They have the resources and they're going to use their resources to get what they want. We have a very determined individual here. Very determined with the magician and the king of wands. This is somebody that is determined to... Uh, be successful, okay? Um, now, we, we, this, I mean, something about an invention as well. Somebody may be inventing something. They may be creating something that could uh, bring them a lot of happiness, okay? Be creating something. Um, there's been some sort of fear of change, but the fear is, is leaving, the fear is leaving because somebody can't stop themselves. They can't. This is such a passionate opportunity. They can't stop themselves. Oh, chariot. Chariot reverse. What is this chariot? This is lack of control and discipline. That's why I said they can't stop themselves. Um... This is building a new foundation, right? Knight of Pentacles. This is a solid opportunity for success. It really is. There's a lot of skills here, too, with the Knight of Pentacles and the Magician card and the King of Wands. We have somebody here that is very skilled at whatever they do. The only problem is, is that they have been too focused on their money, right? With the four of pentacles. But now it's like things are, I don't know. They want happiness. They want happiness. And this is about building a new found. This has to do with the foundation. Absolutely it does. Building a strong foundation very interested in building a strong foundation and getting the opportunity to do so. Huh. Somebody's been held back. They've been held back by something. Justice. Reversed. Karma. This is karma. Justice reversed. Poor decision. Somebody and not wanting to be held accountable. It's interesting because I was gonna say something about being held accountable for actions. 
Anyway, justice reverse is a poor decision. Somebody may have been made a poor decision. And there may have been some consequences for that poor decision. This could this is like the end of a contract, I believe. I think we have a contract that is ending. Becoming, you know, a contract that is ending because there's something more passionate here. There is. Anyhow, um This is an injustice. So this is an injustice. There's some sort of injustice here. Not fair. Unfair treatment. Somebody wasn't treated fairly. I don't know if there's a freaking apology or what. The Knight of Pentacles can be an apology. This is somebody that is real, very genuine, very loyal, very faithful. Um, but this is not telling the truth, not being honest. Somebody hasn't been being honest. And the chariot reversed is about feelings. Interesting. So, not being honest. Some sort of lies. Somebody's been lying about something or they're not telling the truth <laughs> if you hear my stomach growling it it's not really growling it makes them noises from 99% of the time anyhow um, because I can't eat but anyhow um, justice reverse that is unfair treatment unbalanced dishonesty somebody's been dishonest or they're being dishonest not happy with an outcome somebody's not happy they're not happy with an outcome there's been some sort of delay or they've delayed something there's been a delay because here's a delay and here's a delay and this is not happy with an outcome now they're taking action lickety split This is about happiness. I knew that it was. So there is definitely something that is happening here. We could have a new relationship. Or relationship. If there's been some things could be getting better. For some of you, it could be a reunion with the Four of Wands. That could be a reunion, a celebration, celebrating something. For some of you, like I said, even a proposal for some of you. It's interesting. I put this ring on today. I don't know why. Just because I felt like it. I love pearls. Don't really fit me very much anymore, but I bought a new one. But anyhow, um, Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is extreme happiness. Happiness, fulfillment, permanent love. The storm is over. This is a spiritual blessing. We have somebody coming in very, very fast that could lead to permanent love and a lot of happiness. This is somebody that is very skilled and does not give up. You can't, you know, this person doesn't give up. Very focused. So we have a very focused individual that is coming in uh, very fast. Or they're, they're taking action to bring success. They're going to do whatever it takes. Okay, that's what it is. They're going to do whatever it takes to be happy. All that it's all about happiness. It's all that matters is happiness. You know, somebody said that to me the other day in a text. Do what makes you happy. It doesn't matter what anybody else says. It doesn't matter what anybody else says. Do what makes you happy. That's a damn good advice. If only people would listen to their own advice, right? Isn't that what you would tell your friends or your family or somebody that you love? Do what makes you happy. 
If you would tell somebody else that, then you should probably do the same thing. So anyway, this is an opportunity for their happiness. Okay, this is a spiritual blessing that leads to permanent love. And it's a very passionate opportunity as well. So there's passion and there's love. And it's something to celebrate. So this is a day of, I think it's a building a strong foundation, you know. There could be a commitment that is stepping it up to the next level as well. So whatever this is, it's, it's, it looks good. It looks really good. Good luck.